Hey guys, Cajun Seller here. Back at you with another plush sourcing video. I uh, went to several different thrift stores. As you'll know, I collect plush as I go. <laughs> so here's some uh, plush I bought and my thought process behind it. This was, I think, 59 cents. Uh, these three were all 59 cents at a thrift store. It's a polar bear. The reason I picked it up is because it's a puppet. And it is Folktales Folk Manus, or Folk Manus, however you say that. Uh, anytime I see that style of puppet, and almost any puppet really, uh, puppets can be really good, and this one's no exception. It's uh, the entrance to the puppet is right there, and you control them like that. Also picked up this little uh, sprite, Sprite Talk by Champ. <laughs> Happy Talk sprites. These are uh, vintage plush. It actually has Taco Bell 1983 Hallmark cards. This thing's, it's not super valuable. I thought, I was hoping it would be. It's like 15 to $20, somewhere in that range. Maybe it'll be a little bit more if it has the tags, but I mean, it's not, it's not new with tags, but still pretty good overall. And I got this just because it's uh, a parrot or a macaw, whatever kind of bird this is. <laughs> uh, it's by Wild Republic. I'll pick up Wild Republic every once in a while, but uh, only if it's a certain type of animal and like I said this is a plush haul so don't take my word for it look up the comps yourself if you're looking for something because uh, what's what's sold is really what you know shows what sells this was 25 cents at a thrift store this is Gidget from Secret Life of Pets it does have a voice box but it doesn't really go all the way so I need to probably replace the batteries on it and make sure it works before I sell it but for 25 cents I wasn't going to pass that up this little guy is a TY product. It's one of the TY Beanie Boos. It's called Frizzies. These are actually pretty good. Uh, the eyes look pretty good, but I'm still probably going to sell them as used because you can see a little bit of damage there on the eyes. But overall, it's a pretty good one. Got these two to lot up together. Pay 25 cents for them. You probably can't even see their faces, <laughs> as with most Yorkies. But it's B-A-T-A-A-T, -A -A -T, I think. Batot. Maybe is the way you say it. I don't know how to pronounce it exactly, but I looked it up and it looked like it was going for a decent profit. Let's see if I can get the yeah, but bat bat it batot. However you say that. Got this one as well. This is blueberry ty beanie boo. It's one of the older ones because it has the purple tag on it and it also has the not so glittery eyes. And I think that little uh, bow. It wasn't originally there. I'll take that off before I sell it. <laughs> Paid 99 cents for this guy. This is Mayor from Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, I've been able to get him at Walgreens before for clearance down 59 cents whenever they have their Halloween clearance, but I decided to pay up for him because I've sold him in the past, and I think he will still sell uh, for some pretty good money. Anna as well. Paid 99 cents for her. Might just lot her up with some other Anna stuff I have, or... Uh, seller individually depends on what the comps show. 99 cents, probably overpaid for that, but uh, I was looking for something to buy that day, and that's what I bought. Uh, some more 25 cent ones. The thrift store I got Anna and the mayor at actually was a thrift store that I've been going to for a while, and all of a sudden they started putting out 99 cent or a four for a dollar plush. I don't know what made them change. And then, of course, I went to one the other day and they basically switched from doing their five for a dollar plush to basically where they're each individual plush now so <laughs> i guess they must have traded off or something this is a carter's lamb i got it because i needed one more item and it's, i've these have actually done decently well for me the little blankets uh i guess kids lose them or something they stop producing them they retire you know like some stuff they retire it but it is a carter's brand i wouldn't say pick these up all the time but if you look up the character and it's worth a decent amount, and for me, 25 cents, it's worth a shot. This I got at a thrift store. I actually have four of them. <laughs> What's funny is I went there one week, and I, there was they only had one, so I got I paid a dollar for him. And I went back uh, a week or two later, and they had three more, and they only charged me 25 cents. So I guess it's depending on, dependent on which... Uh, cashier <laughs> rings up the plush and what price they put them at because that was just completely random that day also got this guy for 25 cents that day this is mario i think the way the correct one is tanuki i'm not positive but uh, this is definitely mario because it says you know mario super mario 3d land 2013 plush so 25 cents i'll take it 
Tigger was 25 cents. Pretty big Tigger plush. This mini plush was also 25 cents. So anytime I, I would typically say don't pick up mini or Mickey Mouse, but if it's 25 cents and it's a big plush like that, yeah. Mr. Grinch. I'll have to test and make sure he actually works, but for 25 cents, I was willing to take the chance that he might or might not. This is Patrick from SpongeBob SquarePants. Does still have the tags, but probably won't be selling it new with tags. This one is one of the cooler ones I found. Uh, not sure if it's worth much, but it's a really pretty fox. Uh, it's an Arctic fox. I think at least it's an Arctic fox. It's by Aurora. Another brand that I typically wouldn't pick up unless I think the animal sells well. So I've actually sold the Arctic Fox TY Beanie Boo for like 50 or 60 bucks whenever I got it new with tags. But yeah, picked it up because of that. And then this little Hello Kitty plush was 25 cents. So is this TY Beanie Boo. They're both TY products, but this is Babs the Lamb. Need to get that one listed right away because it is uh, Easter. And then this little guy, <laughs> Mr. Potato Head. Uh, might be worth something because of the whole uh, canceling of Potato Head. Not really canceling of Potato Head, but you know what I mean. They're basically getting rid of the Mr. Part of Mr. Potato Head. This is a Nanco product. I'm not sure if it has a date or not. I don't think it does, but it's Mr. Potato Head. I'll come back with another bag. I wanted to show this bag before I opened it. This was a bag from uh, America's Thrift Store, which is a thrift store in my area, and most a lot of places have them. I've seen it in Biloxi as well. But the reason I bought this bag partially was this guy. It's a Pokemon. And then there's also a T.Y. Beanie Boo in here. But the main reason, you'll probably see it. Let me know if you see it. Right there. That's a Five Nights at Freddy's figure. This is, I think it was... Nightmare Mangle. I think that was his name. That was the Walmart exclusive uh, Finders of Freddy plush. He's worth around 39 or 35 to 40 bucks. Not the greatest one. Greatest one would probably be that one that Emily Conway found, the Toy Freddy, which is she sold for like 100 bucks. I have a, actually have one listed that I bought off of Mercari that I've you know, bought in a lot. I have that one listed, but let's open the bag and see what else might be in here that might be worth something. All right, first item is this little bunny. Probably just going to donate that back. <laughs> it's what you do with some of these that you get in these things, because I only bought it for really one reason. This is another... Is that a bunny or a dog? I'm not sure. But it's probably going into donation as well. <laughs> this was... I think Echo was his name. Yes, Echo the Bat. This one I will sell. Unless... Oh, well, never mind. Yeah. I didn't see that when I bought it, but luckily, all that matters is that, well, we'll see if he's in good condition or not. This little bear, donation. This little Pokemon figure, I have no idea what Pokemon this is, because it came after the original Pokemon, and those are the only ones that actually matter. But, yeah, this is Nightmare Mangle. It was the Walmart exclusive one. Feels legit, and looks legit based on the tags, so I'm... Pretty confident saying this is an authentic Funko plush. So now to open the big bags. I was doing a RA road trip down to New Orleans, and uh, one of my last stops was a Walgreens, and right next to that Walgreens was a Goodwill. Stopped in and found some pretty good uh, plush bags, I think at least. This guy is Chewbacca. He does actually work. Or he did. <laughs> How come they never work when I actually try this? Oh well, maybe he doesn't work. That's not good if he doesn't work. But I paid two ninety nine for him, and then I got these big plush bags for four ninety nine each. You can't see it because it got ripped off, but it was four ninety nine each. Let's go through them. I haven't even gone through them. I saw some stuff that was in them. This little bear. Uh, yeah, don't really know what that is. <laughs> never, never sold that brand before, but. One of the reasons I got this one was because it had this Tweety Bird in it. It's Ace. Not the greatest brand, but I've sold it before. It's Ace Looney Tunes. Tweety Bird looks like Angel. It actually still has uh, the tags with it. 
Looney Tunes. Play by play. Any date. Don't see a date on it. Oh, 1998. There it is. Right there. So, I don't know. It's, it's not the g best material, but uh, it might have some value to it. That's one of the reasons I picked up that bag. Is because there was Tweety Bird in it. Let's see. This also has the tags. It's a gunned. Oops. Gunned product. It's a dog, obviously. Brown dog. This is a koala bear that's missing an eye, so this one will be redonated or trashed, whichever. I don't know if anyone really wants a koala bear without an eye. And it doesn't even have a brand either, so that one won't be easy to look up, even if I were to try and sell it. This is a little otter, maybe? Again, no brand to really tell what it is. Another bunny. Might lot those bunnies up together or something. This is... I know what this is. <laughs> There's no tags at all, but it's a what they call the Sum Sum. T-S-U-M. T-S-U-M. Sum Sum. This is Piglet from Winnie the Pooh. Probably not much value, but some of those can be good. This looks like... Uh, was two ninety nine at whatever thrift store it was at before it got here, before they put it in a bag. Looks like it's some kind of zipper. Maybe a purse or something. I don't know. Didn't really have a brand, but can try and sell it, I guess. A dog purse? I don't know. This looks interesting. <laughs> looks like it's an animated bunny. I don't really see any uh, identifying marks on it or anything. Soundthelight.com.hk, which might be Hong Kong. It didn't know. Oh, he does work. Oh, he actually talks. Better stop that. Not that I'm monetized, so it doesn't really matter, but <laughs> they probably don't want me to play that song. Uh, another bear. This one is Gilmore. Bombay, so it might have some value to it. I'll have to look that up after I, whenever I list it and see, but kind of looks promising. I don't know. It's pretty heavy too. The other reason I got this bag was this guy. This is Pua from Moana. So Moana and that this Pua and Tweety were the reasons I got it. I've sold Pua really well in the past, and I think he's really cute. So that's why I picked that up. Uh, what else? Another another bunny themed item. A uh, little squid or octopus. Octopus usually have eight. That only has six. So I don't know. A uh, little Mardi Gras item. <laughs> Mardi Gras throw. Nothing too valuable. A, a Norwal. No identifying marks. And a uh, Another puppy dog with no marks anywhere. And the last item is what the oh it's one of these reversible items maybe or I mean my first thought is it's moose toys which uh, 2018 so it almost looks like it's eating whatever this is is that what it looks like to y'all it looks like he's eating this thing I have no idea what that is. Looks interesting, though. <laughs> That's it for that bag. Time for the next one. All right, so I finally decided to open this one, or I decided to look into it, and this is actually a puppet. It's a gray wolf puppet. There is no branding on it, so he wasn't actually... He was eating him, but uh, that wasn't the design of it. Uh, yeah, they're two separate items. This is another plush bag I got. This is for $4.99 as well. And let's go through it real quick. This is an alligator. It looked like Build-A-Bear. But I'm not actually convinced it is Build-A-Bear. I don't think it is. So I'm not sure what... I don't think he is Build-A-Bear. doesn't appear based on it, all that. This is a frog. 
with no markings as well. So maybe I shouldn't have picked this back up after all because I thought those were build bears This might be good though. This is Ariel, obviously Ariel from Disney. No markings or anything, but I know it's Ariel, obviously. I shouldn't say obviously, but I know it's Ariel. <laughs> this is a Build-A-Bear, just a brown generic Build-A-Bear. Probably not worth much, but something. This is a poor dinosaur <laughs> with a SpongeBob Band-Aid on him. That's gross. Uh, let's see. Can't really get that tag out. Switch hands. Yeah, I don't know. It does have a barcode, but with its neck like that, it's probably not going to have much value. Uh, let's see. Let's see. This is a this is a build a bear. Didn't have any other things than that, so I'm not sure on the value of him. He looks like a little bit older of a build a bear, doesn't have anything on his uh paws or anything. Don't think he makes any sound, but interesting, different kind of build a bear than I've seen. This is also a build a bear. From 2011, it looks like. An orange tiger. Looks like he has something in there. I'm not sure what, though. But I don't think it works, whatever it is. But still, another Build-A-Bear in, in that bag. This is a... Looks like a T.Y. Yep, T.Y. Beanie Boo Owlet. And the last item is a wolf. It's not a Build-A-Bear because it's not big enough to be a Build-A-Bear, but it's Aurora. So, another item that will probably sell, I think. Alright, a couple more plush items that I've picked up. These are a little bit bigger ones. Uh, this is a Minion Build-A-Bear. Uh, you can't see the tag, it was cut off, but you can see Build-A-Bear. Unfortunately, it doesn't have any sound. That would be cool if he did, but yeah, a dollar for that guy. Goofy. This will be my best uh, Scentsy Buddy that I've ever found. Goofy Scentsy Buddy from 2010, I think. All right. That bag's annoying. We've also got this little Sunny Day Doodle Bear. This thing is big. But I picked it up because of that. I think this is actually only 25 cents because it was uh, one of those stores that does 25 cent plush. This guy is my favorite. Anybody know what this is from? Type down in the comments below before I answer. Uh, he is a raccoon, obviously. But I paid $3.99 for him at the thrift store that started doing twenty-five, you know, five, four for a dollar. Obviously, this guy wasn't part of that. He's huge. So some they had some four for a dollar. Other ones were $0.99, cents, like that Ana one. But I saved him for last just to show y'all. I thought he was really cool. This is Miko from Pocahontas. It did say Disney on the tags. I just used that to confirm my thoughts, but I knew right when I saw this that it was Miko from Pocahontas. And now I can't get it to show. Mattel, Inc., Arco Toys. I thought it said Disney on here. Yeah, there it is down there. If you can see that right there, Disney Company. Definitely an older plush. But he's in very good condition. He his value is right between like fifty to seventy dollars, somewhere in that range. But I don't know if I'm gonna sell him or not. I need to though because he takes up a lot of space. But he's so cute. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, for this plush haul slash sourcing video. Uh, don't forget to leave a like down below, comment with your favorite plush that I found, and subscribe if you're not subscribed. And this is the first video I'm doing after my one year anniversary on YouTube. So. On March 9th, 2020 was my first video I ever put out. This will be coming out on March 11th, 2020, 2021. So celebrate my one year anniversary on the YouTubes. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for uh, all the support over the last year.